Over the last century, the American Heart Association's passion has been empowering individuals to lead healthier lives through community engagement, scientific research, advocating for healthy policies, and more. For the past decade, AHA's Voices for Healthy Kids initiative has taken this to the next level with an intentional focus on advancing equity in our policies and practices. Because all people deserve the opportunity to enjoy healthier lives, and because we've learned that the practices we use to advance equity are as important as the policies themselves. We have done some extensive training and development, professional development for our staff over the last two and a half years. We have really made it a point for us to educate ourselves around all of these components of not only equity, but also structural racism and how we address white dominant culture in our everyday practices. We have been on a journey to be more anti-racist in all aspects of our research program from policy development to the research technical assistance we provide to the evaluation work, as well as our research partnerships. We are committed to continuing this work internally but the change doesn't stop there. Our grant making has changed a lot, and that's by really listening to our grantees. The process was constructed with white dominant culture and practice. Some of these grant applications could easily take 30 hours or more. We've tried to make the process more equitable and easier to, to handle and participate in. Voices for Healthy Kids ensures that funding is directed to organizations with diverse leadership and staff and that grantees are from and engaging communities that historically and systemically experience disinvestment, including communities of color and families with low incomes. We have found out that as we have evolved, the less coaching and technical assistance around equity is needed for our grantees because we're now funding those organizations that we weren't funding before. Advisory groups like the Voices for Healthy Kids Strategic Advisory Committee have also evolved through the years. Our strategic advisory committee was composed of many national partners, and one of the shifts that we were making towards being a more equitable anti-racist organization is making sure that we are rooted in community and that we are building with people. Today, the strategic advisory committee comprises 27 different organizations, all who align with the Voices for Healthy Kids policy priorities and center equity. The currency in this space is really more about the trust. We really want to create transformational relationships with organizations. We really are investing in people now and building relationships that really will surpass a campaign and go beyond the campaigns that we fund. Folks may think, oh, the American Heart Association, why would they care about this? It's because we care about kids. It's because we care about these injustices and health inequities that are happening. Yes, they're still centering community, but it feels a lot more authentic, like we're on this journey together so that we can help our communities. By trusting, supporting, and investing in the people and places experiencing the greatest inequities, Voices for Healthy Kids is helping remove barriers that stand in the way of healthy, thriving children and families everywhere.